hey guys, some of you asked how I make my sequences on the wave state sound almost alive and humanized. So not static or robotic at all. And here's how I do it. Okay, so look, the first thing is I will look for a sawtooth sound to have this sequenced, almost plucked saw synth sound. So for doing this I click on the first sample step in the sample lane and then I click in this multi-sample window and I just insert saw, it's easier to find. and Let's scroll down a bit and this sounds quite nice. I know this one. Saw up NG1. Press OK. I think it's quite alright. Look now I bring the cutoff frequency down, bring up the envelope intensity and let me check the envelopes, the filter envelope. I shorten the attack time to zero and bring down the filter decay. Yeah, when I have this really short, short sound, I bring down the sustain to zero. This is quite nice already. I will add a reverb so we have a bit more fun. Bring down the output to, let's say, 13%. That's quite nice. So that's for the quick that's for the quick sound design. And now let's continue with the sequences. So in order to hear the sequence running, actually we have to change one more thing. We have to change the trigger source in the envelope section of the filter. And we have to change it in the generators window to step pulse. That means each time the the wave step is repeating, he triggers the filter envelope. Okay, let's change one more thing in the in the timing lane. So we click on timing and we deactivate the crossfade function. Okay, let's change this timing step to 16th. Ah, that's already better. And now we can start inserting the note values, actually, the, the pitches of the notes. Look, we want to hear this sequence. Wait, let me blend in the keyboard. C major arpeggio actually. So we have the C, the E, the G, the B, and the octave of the C and backwards. So which means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight pitch steps. So I, let me add seven pitch steps here. So that we have eight in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, perfect. So we need <coughs> the the C the root key which is zero. The E is the fifth key from the root, so it's one, two, three I'm sorry, the, the fourth. One, two, three, four. So we have to insert four. The G is the one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, the seventh key from the root. So let's change this to seven. And the B is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The eleventh, eleventh note interval from uh, from the C. 
and the octave of the C is 12 again. And now we just move backwards, 11, we just mirror the whole sequence, 11, 7 and 4. You see, that's the sequence. And now the fun starts when we uh, make it a bit more moving and, and living and breathing. So let's start adding step sequence, step sequencer lane steps. And I always do it like this. I do always a, a, a bit more steps than, than the pitch steps because otherwise it's too regular. Let's make three more. That makes 11 steps in the step sequencer lane. Let me put this to zero. And now we go to the to the filter section and click on the envelope intensity of the filter and on the on the plus sign and I will change now the source that modulates the filter envelope section. Um, I will change this to step sequence lane and look change some of these steps that you can hear it. I make just random adjustments to the steps in the step sequence lane. Let's make the last one we put very high. And now I go back to the filter section. And look now when I increase this value hear that just dependent on the value of the step sequence lane you hear the movements of the filter and of course you can do it re really extreme if you change this even higher and the same we could do with the filter decay level just go to the envelopes to the envelope section of the filters or to the of the filter click on decay click on the plus sign and change the source again to the step sequence lane and now i can um, i can modulate the filter decay with the step sequence lane which is really interesting Now we come to a point where the sequence starts really breathing and gets alive. frequency button or knob and increase a bit the, the filter LFO. And now we go to the to the LFO section of the filter and choose sine wave and I will decrease the tempo a bit of the LFO. is um, adding some modulation to the cutoff frequency of the filter, which gives you even more, um, more movement in the wave sequences. You see, it's not so difficult, not so hard to 
vary the wave sequences and make them sound really alive and humanized. So yeah, that's it. If you like my videos, hit subscribe and uh, the notification bell. And I hope to see you in my next videos. Thank you.